I should have gotten some more coffee, but we're already pretty coffeeed up at this point. Let's see. How you doing, YouTube? You all doing well? Facebook. So today, we're doing some different stuff. This is sometimes why I have a starting soon screen. But it looks good. Oh my god, brush your hair. It did get brushed. It just needs to be cut. <laughs> hey, I already did a removal on this thing, you know? So that's a big part of it too. So it got styled with the adhesive remover. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to go on Monday, and uh, now I'm going to go probably on Saturday. But it, it just, like, I make the time, and then something comes up, and then I, you know, it's just one of those things. <laughs> First time actually being this early, welcome. Um, yeah, so we're just going to let some people filter in, but we're definitely doing something a, a little unique today, which should be fun. Um, we're installing some, like, we're, uh, <laughs> we're doing some mirrored film. This stuff is called Phantom Gold. So it's shiny and it's got like this cool, like you see that? Ooh, nice. So I'm really curious to see what this looks like on the inside. The, uh, the owner of the car is actually in the chat. What's up, Corey? I'm so excited to see this. Sorry, my car is so rough. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad at all. The the hardest part is just like when there's a removal involved, uh making sure like all the glue is taken off um and then trying to kind of get everything all wrangled up so when I go to do this, it's not going to be a big hang up, but don't worry about it. We're all good. What card processor are y'all using? What do you mean? Oh, uh, I use uh, PayPal here. Yes, today is the day. Super excited. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really curious. This is like one of those types of things that you see um, mostly on Instagram. And uh, I've always wanted to do something like this, but I've never actually taken the time. So this showed up in my inbox earlier. Um, and it's, I, I'm really curious to see both how this stuff uh, shrinks and stalls and then well, what's it I kind of know what it's gonna look like after but every vehicle is a little unique when you put something like this on so something very different from like just black 20 percent 5 percent 35 like we all know what that looks like carbon ceramics like let's get something a little bit crazier so I'm excited for this just want to just so wanted to forward a massive thanks from Solar Screen Pakistan. Watch your videos. We changed all our staff and we're uh, getting great results from installs of ceramic metallic films. Hell yeah. Dude, that's awesome. All the way from Pakistan. That's, that's killer. Trained with my videos. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Hi from Germany. Uh, oh, a new work. Yeah, yeah, we're doing something different. What's up, man? Get to tinting. We'll get there. Jesus. <laughs> Let some people get here. Usually I have like a 10 minute starting screen, but we're trying something a little different. Do they have a bigger roll? Yes, we do. We have two rolls. We have a long roll because um, we're doing we're doing the windshield back glass. So I've got a long roll from that. Um, and this is just the 20 inch roll for like the sides. Um, hopefully this goes well. Um, we know what we're getting into, so all our bases are covered. If we make a mistake, um, there should be some extra, but the real problem would be like something like the door, you know, if the roll's not long enough and we got to use it for the back window or something. So we're going to cross our fingers real hard with this one. What's up, Tracy? Hello, tickets. <laughs> that was one of the that was one of the most popular comments in the uh, in the post that I made. There there could be some tickets. <laughs> I 
I like the no starting screen because as soon as I get the notification, can start watching. I like that too. I was using it as a way to kind of prep too. Um, but I've noticed uh, as soon as I get on here, um, I get a lot of questions. So this is kind of a good time to try and address some of those too. Let people filter in and then we get started. Um, so I, I think we're going to be doing this more. Um, but I always like trying some different stuff. So. Have you tried the V Nano from GeoShield? I have not yet. I have their Pro Nano though. Did you talk to the city? I did. And uh, city's fine. So, the uh, it would appear. Sorry, just making sure, no issues there. Um, city's fine. The uh, now what could be an issue is. Uh, property company, so who knows? Uh, just keep your fingers crossed. I think, we'll, I think everything's fine. I mean, I, I'm just literally keeping one car now um, at a time, drop off, doors closed. I, I don't know. If this is a problem, then I'm fucking moving. <laughs> any, any more overtime? Um, actually, they told me, City told me no no tinting or no no work from the hours of after ten o'clock. So from seven a.m. to ten o'clock is okay. Anything after that is is not permitted. Um, so, but I, who knows? I could just have somebody with a stick up their ass. Oh God, do you live in an HOA community? No, no, I don't. Which is the uh, kind of the crazy part about it. But um, it's not my like I'm renting this place so you know that could be a whole other issue entirely and I get it so I don't want to get too much into this but yeah if I if I gotta move then I'll fucking set it up again uh those rules seem strict AF um <sighs> whenever you get into residential and shit like that there's always going to be some red tape and shit like that that you have to kind of deal with so I'm not running my whole business out of here. I tint elsewhere or else I wouldn't make an income. So <laughs> probably, probably. All right. We got to change the subject though. What should be taken care of while tinting? Uh, what should be taken care of while tinting? Uh, everything should be taken care of. <laughs> uh, I don't understand the question on that one. Yeah, we're gonna, we might have to go that route. So, yeah, uh, at this point, I guess we'll get started. I know this is like a really curious topic for everybody. It sure is hell for me, but it's, it's definitely like anxiety inducing. And I don't like, I don't wanna like freak myself out too much at this point. So, been in this area for a long time. Uh, are you a distributor for tint? No, no, I'm just a window tinner. Where did you get the mirror tint? That's wild. <laughs> uh, so this is by a company called Omnique. Let me, let me see if I can show you better that way. It's on a sticker. It's called the, uh, whoa. Sorry, this is really, yeah, see, see all that reflection? Omnique. So they do have a, an Instagram. I wonder if they're watching though. Um, Seem to be, uh, like, they got a pretty wild Instagram um, with a lot of different types of film. So it's interesting. Charles, thank you so much for the $10 Super Chat. But I really appreciate that, that, that like, let's get back on track. <laughs> thank you so much. Have you sold any touchless watches yet? No, um, I, I, that actually didn't work out as well as what I'd hoped. So with like a touchless wash, um, talk to actual detailers. Um, there's not really a good answer unless you have the vehicle already ceramic coated. So the water's still going to stick. It's still going to be hard to dry it. So you're going to have to touch it on some level. That's why you have like multiple buckets, multiple, like, and at that point you're getting, you're becoming a detailer. So I, the most I did actually was just spray it off the car and then take the blower um, and at least blow it off uh, for like streaks and stuff like that. That's as most as I've done, but most times no.
Nice, Matt always coming in clutch lunch time. <laughs> 1.5 mil two ply. Mm, it's definitely thicker. Like just about as thick as what I'm familiar of working with. So it doesn't seem off, but we'll see as soon as we peel the liner. I'd imagine it's like uh, one and a half mil right in there. What's up, bro? I like your work, but I need to chat with you a bit. If you can ask the questions here in chat, that really helps because I don't have a lot of time outside of the live streams to answer questions, which is one reason we do these. Um, between doing this, uh, doing everything else, like I just, oh man, don't have time. You ever get annoyed tinting? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's it's never it's never just like, rainbows and sunshine <laughs> you have some of those days but there's plenty like it can go south real quick so um but the more you keep up with it the the easier that it gets but you will always have those days and you will always have those cars like i had i had to redo a window yesterday um so i had two doors on a cherokee with a full windshield um there was like a, a scratch down one of the sides from a tool um, on the film, peeled it, retinted it, messed it up, did it again, you know what I mean? And, and then it's like, uh, one of those types of deals. Charles, bro, dude, again, did it pop up the notification? There it is. Charles with the $20 super chat. Dude, thank you, coming in strong. That's, that's fantastic, thank you, I really appreciate that. People get so anxious. They want they want me to get into Disney. <laughs> For everybody that says, "Let's get tinning," then we delay it another five minutes. <laughs> Definitely have those days. All right, yeah, let's get going. Cool. Um, so what are we doing first? I kind of want to start with the back window, but I think I might cut some doors and just do them like normal. I don't have the best of plans because. Uh, yeah, let's, it's tough. It's a tough choice. Because at this point, you hope that your slip solution and everything is, uh, is right. Because it's, it's one of the things when somebody brings you film, you're not, you're familiar with lots of other things, but every film is a little bit different. So uh, this, will, this will be interesting. All right, so let's switch over to the GoPro. We changed some stuff up too with the GoPro. Hopefully this will work a little bit better this time. But, but, go. Good deal. I had to give you this because my tinting is coming out so good, thanks to you. Oh, dude, that's fucking awesome. Well, thank you. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad I saw that message because uh, I didn't see a message along with the super chat. The, uh, for those of you just filtering in, the customer is actually hanging out in chat. So he's, uh, he's pretty excited about this, which is really, really cool to see. Oh no, is it bad? Is the, is the mic okay or is it bad? Okay, we're gonna go back to the wireless then. One second. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go to the wireless mic. That's a bummer. Okay, we're gonna try to line this up. We're gonna try and line this up as best as possible. So I've got a wireless mic, um, and I also have a GoPro mic. I honestly was gonna try and forego the uh, wireless mic altogether. Um, 
because I actually don't want the wireless mic. I want to use the GoPro one, but I try I'm trying a different software. Apparently, the uh, the audio worked really good uh, the one time I tried it, um, but apparently second time, uh, not so great. So that's uh, that's a thing. <laughs> Finally got to catch first live stream. Fudge, yes. Okay, so the tent, wow. Wow. Look at that. That's kind of weird. Like one side's very silvery and the other side's completely gold. This is rolled normally. You know what I'm going to do? Let's do this. Let's do the quarter first. We're going to do the quarter first. That way we can kind of like cut off a little bit of film. And then we'll do and then we'll do the door. I'm more conscious about the door. No. So anybody commenting now about the audio? Um, I try I'm trying a different program for the GoPro. Uh, I made a video about this a while back. And the developer has made improvements. So I tested them out uh, the other day, but apparently it's not 100%. So, wow. Okay, so we're good. So anytime we're on the gold side is, uh, is the liner side. So that's where we wanna be. Holy, holy shit, bro. That is wild. I wasn't sure if I could see my glass aid underneath here either uh, because it's so reflective, um, but I can, so that's good. What I really wonder is how dark is this stuff when you're on the inside? I don't think it's that bad. How's the whole city thing? Um, I'll, I'll comment from time to time on it. Uh, it was really, really good yesterday. Um, so as when I talked to them, uh, there was, there's no issues, uh, as far as what I was doing. Um, but they had a complaint, so that's why I got a notice. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, property company also got a notice and, uh, that's what I'm dealing with right now. So they, all they did was call me, talk to me a little bit. Uh, yeah. We'll see. I don't know, because houses around here are kind of expensive, and they're also, uh, it's very much a, uh, a seller's market right now, so everything's more expensive. Um, would like to uh, move somewhere south eventually, but we got, we kind of made this move in anticipation of staying here for, for a little while. We don't want to just move here and then move right out, especially terminating a lease early. So we'll see. Holy. Holy shit. That's crazy. Damn. Oh, no, there's nothing else we can use this for, but I guess we want to be careful. Oh, and you will notice I have stainless steel trash cans now, you guys. You guys want to see this? This is for rags. This is for trash. Look at that. <laughs> Texas is where it's at. Funny, funny you guys say that. Um, oh, I need my heat gun. That's what I'm walking around for. Um, because uh, my wife's sister is uh, moving to Texas. So there's a good chance we might be moving down more towards like the uh, <sighs> Baytown area. It's over by the Gulf. Ooh. But yeah, yeah, everybody in chat finally trash cans. Yeah, man. Oh, this stuff shrinks fine. No worries here. Oh, that's good. It's so one of those things where it's like when you go into it with a bit of confidence and you know what you're getting into, this would go much quicker. 
Sorry I left the sunroof open. Please close it if you need to. Oh, no worries. I actually would prefer it open. Because um, when we're going to be... Like, I can I can close it. Like, it's not going to affect anything with this. It's completely fine to leave it propped open. Um, so we have to do the sunroof too, but this is probably something I'm going to do off stream. So the thing about the sunroof is like uh, this shade kind of gets in the way here. Um, but also I don't have much clearance. Like it's oh, super tight. So it could take me some time. <laughs> I'm just... It looks like the wrapper out of a candy bar. Yeah, this stuff is wild. We're in Texas. Uh, we were talking about the they're they're moving to the the Baytown area, so it's in. Uh, I, th I think it's over by Houston. I could be wrong. Whatever is west of San Antonio. Okay, so I need a couple things. I need a razor blade and I need a clay bar because we gotta make sure all the glue is off of this. I already cleaned it, but just to be 100. Each one of these windows is gonna take a little bit longer than normal. So guys, kick back, this is gonna be, it's gonna be quite the stream. Don't those Correct, of uh, the sunroof's tinted? No, it shouldn't be a problem, especially with this stuff being reflective. Matt found the golden ticket to Willy Wonka. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite so far. <laughs> Just... Baytown's about 30 minutes from Houston. I really like the golf. Um, I'm not sold on Texas, but Hey, looks like there's a lot of new housing in general. Nice trash cans. Thank you. They match uh, my spray tank. And then also, if you'll notice, I have Flexzilla cables, so I want to get the Flexzilla hose back on my spray tank. Oh, shit. I need a, I need a rag, too. I got I to gotta fold the rags. I got to put them on the shelf. But every time I use one, we can put it in the used rag spot. <laughs> it's the little things like that that I'm trying to address. All right. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. It just looks normal. Like it doesn't look crazy on the inside or anything like that. I knew it wasn't gonna like I knew like it wasn't gonna look like mirrored mirrored. So you, you gotta keep conscious of where your life so light source is coming, right? So the sun shining on is gonna create the reflection and the, the way that it's reflecting out. Um, so it's gonna look different on the inside, but I just wasn't quite sure uh, how, how easy it was to see through was what I was worried about. Cause holding it, it's like, holy shit. I can't see through a damn thing, but it's outside of the car. But as soon as we move it to the inside of the car, this is good. This is, this is, this makes me feel much better about doing the windshield. <laughs> Hang on. One second. <sighs> Sorry. I just got to make sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm anticipating I might get a phone call from uh, family or something, and I just got to make sure that's not the case. Because uh, my uh, my older brother, his wife is in the hospital right now. They're about to have a baby. So good, good stuff. Whoa. Hmm. 
This stuff feels like a one and a half mil. I have, I have no idea the longevity. Well, okay, so it says three year warranty, which isn't really confidence inspiring. Um, and then, like there's just other characteristics, right? There's no big US manufacturers that produce something like this, at least not really. Um, but we are just fucking throwing caution to the wind with this one. Oh, let's make sure we got that. Make sure we got that. If, if I didn't see the color so far, installation's going pretty, pretty standard, which is really, really nice. Like nothing, nothing was weird about shrinking it. Nothing's weird about the way that it's sliding. Nothing's weird about the way that it feels. I haven't seen the, the Hooper one. They use real gold in Hoopers? Holy shit. That's, whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> wow. Hi guys, Jesus Christ. This is by a, uh, he found it, the company's called Omnique. Uh, they, they have an Instagram uh, and a website. I forgot how to spell it. I'd imagine, so my honest, uh, Honest take on something like this is there's probably going to be a handful of other people that sell just something exactly like this or this exact thing, but I don't know much about it. I just looked at the website quick. <laughs> Guys, this thing, this is wild. This would technically be illegal in the, in the state of Michigan too. Super Chat 15. Aw, oh, dude, thank you. He said this is for the baby's piggy bank. Dude, aw. I'll make sure it goes to that. We have a whole bunch of stuff we gotta get for a baby. There's the notification. Dude, thank you so much. I'm curious about like little specs and stuff because I'd imagine they stick out, but Wow. Yo, this is wild. I want to do more of these. <laughs> so, in in the state of Michigan, the reflectiveness is technically not going to be something that's okay, right? Um, most, most cars, the... Uh, what was it? What was I going to say? Most cars, so like, even in the state of Michigan, the front windows technically no, unless you have a doctor's note. Wow. So this stuff has a little bit of like a rippling to it, but it's also still fresh. Some of it looks like it's evens out. I'm just... Wow. This stuff's wild. I think it just has a little bit of a natural... Any type of, yeah, like, so this is kind of a hard thing to see. There's just kind of like an, a natural type of glue distortion with a, like the reflection. It looks fine on the inside, a little interesting on the outside, but that's like when you get really close. Like looking at it from here, it seems perfectly fine. It's hard to tell what is... Yeah, that's just water. So like even some of the water buildup almost makes it look like imperfections for a time. So 
we'll better know in the future. Yeah, it's probably just water right now. I mean, I'd expect that. But this is also new for us, so. Dude, it just makes everything look crazy. <laughs> wow. Does it make it look different with the factory green? Maybe slightly. You might see like a slight greenish gold. Well, okay, so when I'm looking off this reflection into that glass, I could kind of see it. When I'm looking into the wall, not so much. So like that factory greenish uh, hue is really, really hard to see on its own. It probably has the imp it probably impacts the color a little bit, but because you can't really tell a whole lot anyways, until like the windows are wet and stuff like that, it'd be a minimal issue, but I've just uh, a little taken back because this is the first, I think this is the first time I've ever installed, no, I, I've done a blue film and I've done a, a, a mirrored film before, but it was like an automotive grade one. And the colored film was just like whatever color, like that stuff sucked to work with. So this is the first like regular type of film that I've installed with this kind of reflection to it. So it's just wild to finally see in person. Oh, buddy. So we're gonna be individually cutting these. We can go that way, cool. Oh, that's interesting. So this line here is uneven, meaning that they didn't cut down the roll of them. Like they probably don't have a film cutter because that line should be much straighter than it is like factory edge. So they probably just get the bulk roll and then cut it by like hand or something out of a box. I almost feel like I'm vinyling the windows in a way. This, this is super cool, super different. It's just fun for it to be different. Ow, fuck. Almost, like cut my finger a little bit. Stuff's sharp. So cool to watch the process. Thanks, man. Well, I'm, I'm learning just as much as you guys are about this stuff. Well, maybe a little bit more because I'm actually doing it. <laughs> is the windshield getting this as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, uh... oh boy. It's going to attract a lot of attention. <laughs> What's the standard thickness of tint? And what should I not get? Um, so there's two main ones. There's usually like a one mil film and a one and a half. The one and a half is more rigid. And the... Uh, the one mil films um, feel a little bit like tissue paper. More, more film manufacturers uh, have thicker films and it's a good thing too because you can put more 
stuff in it, right? So there's gonna be like ceramics, carbon, stuff like that. But also there's plenty of dyed one and a half mil films. It's just stick with something like that. It's completely fine to practice with a one mil film, but for the most part, you're gonna be installing a one and a half mil film. All cheaper films, like cheap, cheap films are usually uh, one, one mil films. There still can be high quality one mil films. Um, but avoid putting one mil films by random sellers on customer cars. You're gonna have issues there. Damn. <laughs> I just, the whole time, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get over this. Never practiced with a torch with one mil film. Hey, I got pretty good at it. <laughs> I would have the same problems with a one and a half mil film on that. It's just the one mil film goes a little quicker. You know, as far as workability, I, I got no problems with it so far. I mean, we, we might find out more stuff as we go. We probably will, but just getting it on the glass, getting it in place and stuff like that. I, granted, I didn't do very much, but you can tell a lot from that quick little piece, so. Yeah. <laughs> now I finally kind of know what it feels like to be a, a vinyl installer doing something wild. Okay, look at this, right? You got the gold, and then you can see through it. And then you got the gold, and you can see through it. Oh, that's fucking wild. <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. That's cool. <laughs> I had a feeling this was gonna be fun. Very, very exciting on this one. So there was like a long time ago when I, when I was working at an auto accessories company, um, not tinting yet as far, I don't think I was tinting at the time. There was this Nissan, I still remember this, there was this Nissan 350Z, um, and a guy came in for some accessories. It was already tinted, but he had like what I would call the Oakley Iridium look. So you know on Oakley sunglasses, how they're like dual color, it's like that color shift type of stuff. Uh, his car was like, no, it was like this orangey red mirror. It was super fucking cool. And then you look through it and you don't, it looks like a normal tint. You look on the outside, it was like that, that was cool. I wanted to, I, whatever that was, like I, I knew it wasn't like a legit manufacturer making stuff like that or whatever, but I never knew what it was. So it's finally cool to get a color in here that does that same thing. I'm pretty sure we're at the end of this one. We'll swap this. So and I'm just glad to finally be able to have something like that in person. Oh wait, what am I doing? I got a trash can. It's already full. But I want to start, oh man, I would just absolutely love to start doing like blues and purples and fucking crazy shit out of here. I don't know who actually wants to do stuff like this, but is this crash wrap? Uh, yeah, basically. It's not officially called that. I picked it up from, uh, from Lowe's, but uh, basically the same stuff, same type of stuff, so. I've tried a couple of different ones. I'm still looking for one that sticks to everything. This stuff still doesn't stick to everything, so. 
I just want to make sure I can open this door enough. Yes, there we go. Such a good idea. Thank you. I always have like those annoyances with door panels. It's one of like the sore thumbs that I wanted to fix on this channel. Duct tape. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel comfortable putting duct tape on uh, <laughs> customer panels for sure. I'm sure that was a meme, but yeah, especially that. Um, why did you park the car slanted? Um, because uh, we're doing the windshield too, and I didn't want to move things. And now the more that I I look at it, I have plenty of room on a diagonal. Um, the short, like just. Uh, front to back, like, pushes it a little farther. Just kidding. <laughs> I kind of figured. Microsoft Sam is, uh, is pretty bland. <laughs> he doesn't interpret sarcasm very well for me. All right. Oh, this is 15? Really? I'd put my meter on it, but I'm, I'm kind of, I suspect that my meter would bounce off of it. But we could try, we could try to put the meter and see what it says, but I don't think it'd be accurate. I'm, I, I've low-key been jealous of lots of uh, Instagrams with vinyl wrapping because they get to do crazy colors on cars, but I never wanted to do that kind of stuff because it's so time consuming. But window tint, I didn't, I, I don't know if there was like the crowd for it. Plus there is that whole like, only the super brave people will get this type of stuff. Perhaps a big part, technique, practice. Make things extra soapy so they slide easier too if it's hot. Those are all things that will majorly impact what you're doing. Wow. I just, I can't get over it. I, I can't even. So I will say we are technically uh, using a different soap today. Came across a comment in my group saying that uh, Joy was better with Geo. And so I couldn't find Joy, but I found, uh, I've used Dawn before, but I ended up picking up, uh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? Um, Ajax. I got Ajax and I got Palmolive. So right now I'm just trying Ajax. I, I've seen it recommended a ton of times though. I just never actually tried it. Um, until yesterday, and uh, it went well. Ooh, 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 ooh. Love your channel, thank you. Where can I get glass aid? Uh, MyTintStuff.com. That's my website. It's also should be in the video descriptions. And just generally on the stream. But if you Google it too, it, it's like the first thing that pops up. Sun Distributing also sells it too. So if you order tools through them, they carry it.
be careful. Oh, really? Interesting. Well, that's uh, with ceramic coatings. I didn't know if it was uh, an issue or not. That's no good. This one definitely doesn't. But I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. What do you guys think? What? It, what? The... <laughs> what a fucking wild look! Holy shit! Why is it gold versus silver? Um, I, sorry, I'm paying attention to the comments too. I don't, I don't know how this necessarily works, but you get one side that's, that's silver and then just, <laughs> uh, would it be cool to see the customer's reaction? <laughs> Wow. Oh, super chat. Hang on one second. I will get to it. Thank you. Dude. Okay, so one one note on something I thought about stuff like this. I want call me crazy, but if there was the right color to wrap just the glass portions and kind of blend it all together, that would be that would be pretty wild. Oh, this is crazy. It's just cool to see. <laughs> so, uh, for those that don't know, the customer's in chat. He's, uh, he says he's grinning ear to ear right now. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Damn, I did <laughs> Sorry. Uh, damn, I didn't realize you also tinted in 2002. <laughs> no, we're doing something crazy today. But, uh, Tracy, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Um, will V-Nano shrink differently than Avery and R? Uh, I don't know. I have not messed around with V Nano yet. So, uh, if they send me some, I'll give it a shot and see what it's like. Um, I'm carrying the Pro Nano though, um, and that stuff shrank phenomenally. So I'd imagine this stuff would be pretty easy to shrink. Cool customers are still following like me. Audi A6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antoine's here too, bro. We got another Audi. We got the S5. We're going with a gold one. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that uh, tip, by the way. It hasn't panned out anything, but I think we're okay so far. That is so cu cool. The customers here looks dope. Dope. That's awesome. What did he say? Certainly unique and needed to retint, so figured I'd give it a shot. Yeah. So I already did a removal on this one. The, uh, the film on it was kind of, uh, like, it, it was very, very weathered. So look like people were, had been using like uh, ammonia glass cleaner on it, kind of stripped off the, the coating. <laughs> Is the customer Mr. Trump? <laughs> yes, and he wants me to inlay Donald into the into each window He said get rid of the Audi emblems and put Trump emblems <laughs> Dude this is wild um, So he picked it up from a website called the uh, Omnique. They have all sorts of different colors and crazy stuff All right, so let's go to this side We'll do the doors first and then we'll do the back windows. Things are going pretty well, so stay on this path. We should be okay. But yeah, it's wild. Silver on this side. But when you get in it, you can't even tell that it's silver.
They make mirror tint in purple? Yeah. Yeah, they do. There's like, uh, I don't know if, they, so some sites call it like a neochrome. It's pretty wild. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is nuts. One thing's for sure, this is, I'm just listening to it in chat, this is a very polarizing uh, look. <laughs> some people are like, hell yeah, and some people are like, uh, ooh, can I get a ticket? <laughs> yeah, if you use, uh, if, if you use baby shampoo, um, a lot of times it'll separate overnight. Um, so you do have to like swap it out fresh the next day. More often than not, that's what you have to do. Sometimes you can get by if it's cooler. Um, so in like the winter time, it's not that big of a deal, but in hot weather for sure. And especially if you're using the cheaper ones, I've noticed sometimes it's worse. I gotta say, Matt, this is probably one of your best dreams. <laughs> Thank you. I knew we were in for something very, very uh, interesting here. Where can I order the film with the stars? Oh, I saw that recently. Uh, I don't know. I know nothing about that stuff. The idea is interesting though. To me, the star stuff kind of seemed like a The, the star stuff kind of reminded me like Christmas wrapping or birthday package. All right, so we didn't get around this corner as cleanly as we got the other one. <laughs> what the hell kind of tin is that? Sorry, just got here. <laughs> Bro, this is the future. Or the past, depending on how old you are. <laughs> okay, the corner is pretty good. Let's just make sure. One thing's for sure, you can 100% see this much better on a dark background. <laughs> we should have just the Willy Wonka song over and over again. That's probably why it's more permissible in vinyl. Uh, as far as heat rejection, uh, I, I'd imagine uh, it'll definitely help uh, with the reflective nature of it. I haven't put it in front of the heat box though. That would be interesting. I can't imagine it's as good as like a ceramic, but because it's so reflective, it'll bounce the heat off. So it's got natural heat rejection because of that. I'm so glad I got heat guns on both sides. I have an idea for uh, sprayers on both sides. The yellow, red, and blue see-through film. I've done, what have I, I'm trying to think of the, what film that I've seen. Um, there was this one film, uh, it's just literally like blue or red, um, but it was made more for like flat glass, not automotive, and it didn't have like any effective scratch coat on it. And as soon as you looked through it, it gave you a headache. 
So I'm glad you can't really tell there's any coloring on this stuff and when you're inside the car, because that, that would be like, that would be really, really sickening. <laughs> it is very light to see through though. Look at that. It is very, very easy to see through on the outside. Fucking whoop whoop though, uh, <laughs> or easy to see through on the inside. A little bit of whoop whoop on the, uh, on the outside for sure. Should wipe this off. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh! Is that real? Jesus Christ, oh my God. George, holy shit, thank you so much. George with a fucking massive $200 super chat baby gift. Oh, bro. Like, <laughs> as, a, as a gift for the, I'll make 100% make sure it goes uh, directly to that. Dude, dude, thank you so much. That's, uh, that's awesome. Wow. I just, oh, it's just like baby gift. So like that makes it extra special, dude. Thank you so much. That that means the fuck ton. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I just saw the reflection of it in the thing, dude. Thank you, fucking guys in chat. Like fucking clap it up, emojis, fire emojis, or whatever. I don't know, dude. Dude, that was fucking massive. Thank you. Wow. Jesus Christ, what? I need to start with doing some more gold tint, boys. <laughs> Aw, I did too. I teared up. I did too a little bit, like fucking the, I'm so, aw, oh, you guys are great. Fuck yeah. Monka S. <laughs> Thank you. Enough money for the hairdresser. <laughs> Ironically, le a comment left from the guy that said $20 super chat <laughs> for a haircut. <laughs> oh, that's great. I know my wife will be very, very happy too. <laughs> My, uh, what's crazy too is, uh, my brother, um, his, his wife is in labor right now, actually. So they're going to be having a baby very, very soon. We gave, <laughs> we gave them some money too, to go towards that baby. So it's cool. Be some new family babies. All right. Where's my clay bar? It's probably over there. I'm sorry. I, I just little, little scattered. We're gonna scrub this one a little bit, I think. Are we? No. <sighs> Guys, do you ever do you ever misplace things five hundred times in one day? Because I'm pretty sure I do that. There's the rag. There's the thing. Where's the clay bar? There's always this little game that I play, and it's where the hell do I put the clay bar? <laughs> and the razor blade that I just, oh my God. All right, all right, all right, all right. we're okay. We need to start doing some more uh, shiny tint jobs, huh? Name the baby or <laughs> <Ore. laughs> super nice in, in chat. That's nice to hear. Thanks, guys. 
All right. Clay bar. Let's get some of this shit off here. Ew. Mm, a little bit up there. Good deal. All right, so hopefully this one goes well. We've been going good so far. We're gonna save the windshield for last. Matt inspired me to start my own tint business. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking get it. Especially now. Oh my god. Business is just... It's for a lot of people, it's just fucking crazy. Don't mind my floor mats. <laughs> Funny enough, the uh, Antoine said the same thing about his, too. I remember. Dude, if I showed you my car right now... You, like, my car is not clean at all. I, it's, this is just something I've noticed. It's an interesting, uh, oh, 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 there you go. Interesting thing. I never thought people would be self-conscious of their own cars on stream. If anything, like, whoa. Well, we just lost this stool, so we'll just do this like we normally do. I'm about to outbid. <laughs> oh, one second. We can let it hang there for a sec. Any thoughts about Lexan? Uh, yeah, I've had lots of thoughts about him. It's not a bad starter film. You'll notice a lot of people have problems with shrinking it, especially early on. Um, very budget friendly film though. It's just that for like cost, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the haze, but it's, it's, uh, it's very inexpensive, so. It's definitely good looking for the money. stuck. We just got one little hang up somewhere along here. There we go. Yep, yeah, boy. Sorry, I know there's a lot of chat there. We're a little distracted. The haze is a lot less than the ultra. Nice. I have the, uh, I have both. So I know I installed the one with a more better look. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good. We had our stool fall. Pretty sure my uh, hose bumped into it and just knocked it over. We're using a little bit of a different stool. I found it on Amazon and I thought it was pretty helpful for mobile. I was looking into like a really fucking awesome stool for this place, but 
I can't find anything that I really like that doesn't have like a wide base because I want to be able to like put it up against the uh, against the wall without getting in the way. Ooh, buddy. What's up everyone, I'm a little late. Well, you wanna see something crazy? Here we have some regular tint and then we, what the f <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I like this, this is good fun. There we go. Yeah, buddy. This is going pretty good. Nice. This looks good. Yep. Dude. This stuff is wild. Uh, customer brought it over. Looks like a spaceship. <laughs> Dude, it's like a whole bunch of things. My favorite was like Willy Wonka's uh, chocolate bar. We got the golden ticket boys. I feel like we got a lot of extra on this so far. So we got probably enough to do a couple more doors. So that's always a good thing. In case we ran into a mistake. I wasn't sure how much extra we'd have. <laughs> also, wasn't sure where to put it. That spoiler helps. Neat. Yeah, this stuff is not, I'm so used to the factory straight edges at the bottom. This one is though. Sure. Started with Lexan. Wanted to work my way up with GeoShield. What price would I recommend for carbon? Um, so a good way to look at it is if you if you put in all the time and effort to make a really, really nice job, there's no reason you can't already start out better. You don't need to be established to earn that price. If anything, starting cheaper um, bottlenecks you a little bit in that pricing. So if you do a good job and I do a good job, they're both with the same film. There's no reason that your job shouldn't be the same as mine or better. It's all about like pricing varies all over the US. So um, one good thing to do is see, uh, scope out some local competition, kind of see where other people are at. Um, and then just like fall in line or push the, push the limits. What blade am I using? We are using uh, NT cutters. We're using 60 degree uh, carbon steel. No, 30 degree carbon steel and 60 degree stainless steel. All right, well, I used that in part so I wouldn't scratch his uh, nice sticker there. So we are gonna shrink this one here. We just need to do it a little bit.
All right. <laughs> oh no, not my sticker. <laughs> Your sticker is all good. Also, I think we used the factory edge on that anyways, so. We didn't have to really make a cut down there anyways. But I have a little trick for that. What was that? I don't know if I said this one. Been tinning now for a couple years, side hustle on days that pay off from my full-time job, and now I'm the only person that does tint in my town. What do you usually charge for front two windows or a full car? Um, so here, I start a full car at 240 um, in a color-stable dyed film, and then I also do um, carbon and ceramic up from there. Um, front doors here would start at a hundred. Um, but uh, like pricing varies a lot from area to area. Um, but there are some pretty well established places that charge more even when a market is saturated. But what I can tell you is uh, just kind of scope out some pricing in your area, see what like a lot of people are kind of gravitating towards. That's gonna be what your client base are, is used to hearing. Um, don't be afraid to, uh, to charge what everybody else is though, if not more. A, you'll be slower for it in the beginning, but you won't bottleneck yourself so much in a, in a cheaper price point. And if you put out good work, I mean, that goes a long way. Good work, good customer service. What kind of film did you learn on learning to shrink? And if you happen to, that's a good thing because now everything else will be easy. <laughs> Every film though, has its own little different characteristics to it though. Some will pack up a little quickly, some shrink faster, some do this, some do that, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Oh, good God. Do I use carbon steel razors? Um, yes. No, those are, okay, yeah, yeah, you can, that's fine. Stainless steel razor blades, you can get any stainless steel razor blades. Ooh. So that's perfectly fine um, for, the, for the blades that you cut the tint with. Um, use stainless if you're cutting on the glass. But carbon steel seem to be available in more places. Stainless steel, I have them, um, but they're not necessary. These panels get in the way. They definitely get in the way. But overall, they're they're pretty uh, lenient because they're like they give you some wiggle room on the inside, which is nice. Yeah, one inch flat stainless, sorry, one inch flat stainless razor blades. 
those are perfectly fine uh, to like scrape glue and stuff like that. But if you're cutting, use, uh, if you're cutting on glass, use stainless steel. It's a softer steel. That's the biggest thing. Carbon steel is a harder steel. Whoa! Look at that. Look at that right against the... <laughs> it's wild. Yeah, buddy. Wish me, wish me luck. I'm about to attend a 2000 blah, 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 Forester. Mm, the doors shouldn't be that bad. If it's got front quarters on them, those kind of suck. But overall, pretty standard. I'm getting too old for this. All right, now we get to go to the fun part. Holy shit. We're gonna do the back window. And then we're gonna do the really fun part. And like, I don't wanna throw this out. I like these bigger scraps, but I don't have anything to, to use them with other than throwing them. Oh, maybe we can see if they're heat rejection at all. Oh, we gotta get the big roll. Let's get the big roll. So this is the big roll. The way they pack this is, uh... Ugh, I hope this is okay. <laughs> it's not exactly easy to get in in and out of that Audi. Yeah, for sure. Most coupes are that way. Some a little bit harder than most. All right. So yeah, this is the company, Omnique. They have fancy stickers. Ooh. Boy. It's nice because they rolled it this way so you can just unroll it straight onto the glass. I feel extra fancy right now though, unrolling this very softly onto the back window. <laughs> yes, we tint with only gold here in the studio. That's it, only gold. None of your peasant films anymore. We're only high-end gold tint jobs from now on. We're fancy AF. <laughs> gold never tint studio. <laughs> Willy Wonka's fancy AF tint studio. Wow. Okay, it, what's really unique though is the glass aid shining through it. I thought I wouldn't be able to see it, but you can see it very distinctly through it. That's really wild. Like you can't see the paneling hardly at all. Like it's all black, but anything brighter shines through. That's cool. I just can't wait to get this on there. Yeah, we're not gonna throw away the bigger scraps. We'll keep them. I don't know what to do with them yet, but. It's one of those, uh, one of those things. Like, ooh, I could get a quarter window out of this. I'm gonna keep it, but I don't, I'm not tending any more things like this. <laughs> not anytime soon. Now we really get to see what this stuff is made of. Sunstrip, how about full, full windshield?
which I wonder if I should make sure we have enough film for that. We should. He ordered the extra film for it, so maybe we should just set it out and make sure we'll get the whole vibe. Just to be extra sure. I think we do. It looks like we do. All right, let's do it. Oh, yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> People are like, wait, what? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Golden Nugget Tints. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Disclaimer. Well, how much more do we got? Yeah, we got we got some extra. Okay, that's good. I don't think we got enough to redo the windshield. But we got a little bit more. Holy shit. Teaser. Okay, let's do this back window. <laughs> That's true. I'll just hang on to it. Need some uh, Oompa Loompa music in the background. Smooth though. Wow. That's nice. It's not very fast, but it is very even. That's good. Yeah, this is no problem. Why do people pull strength? Um, it helps keep everything a little bit even. I do it here and there, depending on the situation. You, and like pull shrinking sounds a little misleading too. Um, you're really just lifting the film and like give, putting a little tension on it. So you are pulling it, uh, but very little. And you, what you're doing is you're just lifting it off the glass. Yeah, you can kind of just get a, rather than like shrinking all these peaks and valleys and like trying to like wiggle the heat gun around and maneuver it and stuff like that, it really helps. Um, I didn't learn how to pull shrink until much later, so I default a lot of times to the way that I used to do things, but I, I try to have like a nice mix when it's appropriate. When I'm a little more comfortable. I kind of, I still want to use this heat gun though. So we're going to see if we get enough. This heat gun's a little bit hotter. So I want to use this instead of the green one that I got set up. So like, I'm a little bit more comfortable pulling with like my right hand. So you'd like lift it and then kind of like shrink the whole thing. But this is a different material. It's shrinking pretty fine, which is nice. I just don't want to like try and take any chances with this. 
because we pretty much only have one real shot for the back glass and one real shot for the uh, windshield. So we got to do the best with what we got. Who gave $200? A very generous person. That's a very nice note. It was fucking wild. So you guys, I don't know who cares about streaming shit, but do you guys hear about Mixer? <laughs> See this? This is pool shrinking. So there's like this heat wave that you can create and you can just get it to like ride up the film. I'm a little bit better doing that on this side than the uh, other side. Sometimes it's just where it falls. Yeah, Ninja and Shroud. Ha! <laughs> there are people that heard about it good. Yeah, dude. Fucking wild. I was... Uh, there's a podcast that I listen to. Well, podcast live stream. Uh, Devin Nash over on Twitch. A um, lot of good uh, streaming and business advice. The uh, They fucking made bank on that deal. They got so lucky. Good for them. So I knew they had a wild contract to do what they do, but it's very damaging to your brand to isolate yourself like that if the, if the platform doesn't succeed. So because Mixer was in violation of the contract, then they immediately had to pay out uh, both Ninja and Shroud. And then Ninja and Shroud are now free agents. Good for them. That's fucking crazy. But yeah, Mixer just fucking shut down out of nowhere. It was just like, sorry, we're closing. The end. <laughs> Anything I should know about a 2011 Mercedes E350? Um, he should get gold tint because he's got a Mercedes. Um, those are going to be a little bit, uh, Mercedes are just going to be a little tighter, a little bit more annoying. Um, sometimes the quarter windows can be funny. I'm not sure on that one in particular. Um, but yeah, usually just tighter. Tighter seals that you have to deal with. Ooh, Ooh what was that one? Sorry, I didn't want to read. Mixer just made a deal with Facebook streaming. No one is out of a job. They just need to negotiate with Facebook now. Well, so the problem, the biggest problem is... Um, like, sure, the streamers have a place to go, but the problem is moving uh, audiences from platform to platform. That's a huge deal. It is very, very tough to get anybody to follow you to another platform. I mean, Ninja, case in point, right? He was massive on Twitch. He moved to Mixer, and Mixer's a smaller platform. He didn't get near the same amount of viewership. But if he was to go to YouTube, he would already have like a massive following there. Not everybody, a lot of people in your audience, just the diehards will follow you. There's a lot of people uh, in your audience that will not follow over, uh, which is kind of crazy, even if the platform is free, even if the things are made available. Um, so over the next 30 days, they have to all hustle to basically advertise and build up another stream somewhere else. And uh, streaming on Facebook is very different from streaming on uh, from Mixer. So... All in all, that is just, I mean, anybody who was streaming only on, on the one platform and only built their audience in the one place, um, that's, a, that's always a problem. If I was Ninja or Shroud, I'd take a vacation. <laughs> yeah, right? The, 
That's kind of what people are talking about the most is like, what are they going to do? I think if Ninja wants to be the biggest streamer again, I think he's going to go to YouTube, even if it's not as big of a deal. Like even if the money isn't as much, I think he's going to go to YouTube. Not even necessarily because of the drama that was started from Twitch uh, when he left, but um, he'll have a bigger audience there. I try and follow some streamers on Twitch, and I like Twitch overall. The community is fantastic. But God, viewing experience on mobile kind of suffers for me. Is this alienated enough of my audience? <laughs> All right. Um, let's grab one of these guys. And we need... We need a bulldozer. We need a side swipe. We got clay bar and we got some rags. So we should be okay. No razor blade, we don't need that. Oh, oh so I, I learned at a shop with plotters, do I teach myself how to hand cut? Um, or do I go to a school? Uh, yeah, teach yourself. Try that. You should be fine. Um, hand cutting is its own problem. Uh, a lot of shops will pigeonhole you on that kind of shit, right? Where that, they don't, you are an investment to any shop that you walk into. So like on some level, they have to train you how their shop works. And then they have to build up that trust. And then when you leave, well, they're out that investment entirely. So some shops will teach you how to install off of a plotter and completely ignore hand cutting. They won't teach you that because they have the plotter and then you don't. Um, it's, it'll take a little time to learn, but as far as tinting goes, if you know how to do everything else, Learning how to hand cut, it really isn't that bad. Oh, my headset's cutting out. What was that? Was it a super chat? Or did somebody buy glass aid? What was that? Sorry. I gotta get out of here. One second. Uh, you know what? I gotta change the battery on this GoPro too before I forget. Hey dude, what's up? There's definitely a problem with my uh, headset right now. It kind of disconnected. But yeah, learning how to tint at Expel. Yep, they don't teach you with uh, anything but plotters in their system. Yeah, don't don't worry about like don't stress yourself about trying to learn. Uh, ooh, we got it. Don't stress yourself about trying to learn hand cutting. It's really not that bad. Just prepare to make some mistakes, um, and you can do that a lot on your own car. Plus, if you have like a little place, you could always use sharpies and a glass board, stuff like that. Like that's completely viable too. But yeah, Expo is kind of funny with her class that way. Whatever happened to you in Discord? <laughs> um, I still pop in there from time to time and talk. Um, I wanted to do something with Discord that was a lot more. Um, here, let's go back to the GoPro. What? Was that... Was that a donation? Hang on. Oh wait, no, 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 that's wrong site. Sorry. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, I heard something, but I don't, I don't know what that was. Sorry, I will find out though really, really quick. Somebody sent you 50? That would be fucking wild. 
Because they have like a donation thing that's not a super chat, and that's for extra places. Oh, there it is. Oh, dude, thank you. Oh, a few people have. Oh, Joseph. Okay, I see it now. Bro, thank you so much. I wish I could replay that. Um, there's So there's YouTube things and like the, the, so the direct donation stuff like that, they don't go in my restream chat annoyingly enough, but I, I thought I heard something. And thank you guys in chat for saying something like that. Joseph, for the garage air conditioning fund. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a fucking massive donation. I really appreciate that. The Detroit Tint Studio website isn't working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I disabled it. I'm sorry. For right now. I gotta, I gotta make some adjustments, maybe. I don't know. I gotta sort some things out, and then I'll put it back up. So I know it's up there. Uh, I should have put a redirect to Facebook, though. Facebook would be the better place, but I just uh, disabled it for right now. Sorry, I'm just dealing with some stuff. Um, I have some custom bronze wheels just slacking on getting the tires. Oh, that'll look, whoa, that'll look crazy. Damn, you're going all out, cool. No, no, <laughs> here we go again. Okay, uh, so we are in the middle of this back window. Um, somebody just asked about the city. So, yeah, um, I don't want to talk about this. Uh, oh, you know what? We can, might be able to cut those out before we go on the inside. That would be preferred. Um, so we did have a discussion, uh, with the city and no problems there. Um, the major problem is this house I technically do not own. I am renting. So uh, they got a notice too, just like I got a notice and I basically have to explain I'm not trying to run um, a business out of here. So we're not running a full business. They, the city said, like I'm not in violation of the city. The city legitimately said, you're allowed to do some work out of there. Um, you know, low traffic, keep things mild, like that's completely fine. So I'm not in violation of anything. It's just nervous about explaining that to people that may not understand it that way. So yeah, we'll see. Most of my clients came off of Facebook anyways, <laughs> or phone calls. I hope so. I, it's still up in the air a little bit because it's like, I get it. I went, so I never did anything out of here that I wasn't supposed to. I just, you know, we're, we're a little bit different of a, of a thing here for sure. We're gonna touch up these edges, make sure they're okay. We're gonna go ahead and install this. Lots of little ripples at the bottom. So what we hope is when we install this, we don't get a lot of little fingers. Um, that is a concern because we don't, we don't know whether or not this is going to lay down particularly well at the bottom, but we are going to definitely do what we can in hopes that it will. Hey, 
five dollar super chat on door windows. Um, one second, I'll I'll be able to answer your question a little bit better. But on door windows, when you tack them down, you're getting dirt specks. A lot of the time, that's going to be uh, dirt, <laughs> or you getting speckles. That's that's from dirt. takes a long time or a lot of pain and frustration in practice to get clean window tint. A lot of it's in the technique. Oh. Sorry if I'm bumping you. Oh, yep, we're bumping GoPro a little bit. We only got so much space. Oh, Jesus. This was on the outside before install. Um, that's weird. If there's like a little imprint in the film, like if there's dirt specks on the outside, um, if if stuff's on the outside, it's not going to impact the inside. Not unless it was like a a sharp piece of dirt that literally like poked itself into the film. But you will see all that still on the outside, unless you clean it off somehow. Okay, we're going, we're going with it. Did I buy it or did the customer? Um, the uh, customer brought this in. He's hanging out in the chat, so you feel free to ask him any questions. Uh, this stuff is by a company called Omnique or sold by. Always difficult to tint. Yep, 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 yep. Whew. All right, this is the most fun part, right? When you get to try and do the window tent limbo, bro. Fucking woo! Golden hands window tint. What tint do I regularly use? I regularly use Geo Shield, but now we are going to switch to gold because why? Why not? Only gold tints now. Welcome to the gold tint shop. Where everybody is a, everybody's car leaves more expensive than when it came in. Uh, uh, uh. Wouldn't it be easier if I could have removed the rear headrest? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? To be 100% honest, I didn't notice that they had the handles right here. So yeah, uh, this, and then and then putting the pick in and then removing it. I, I glanced at it and I thought they weren't removable and then I just kept doing it. Yeah, it would have been easier. I just noticed that they had the handles right now. <laughs> Do you need adhesive removal if you're using a steamer? Uh, yeah, so the steamer will hopefully take the, the adhesive off, but a lot of the times with older films, it'll just take the film off. Taking the film off is, is half the battle. The other half of the battle is ensuring that all the glue came off. And you do that with like adhesive removers and scrub pads. I know of an awesome adhesive remover though. Okay. 
we're just going a little gingerly. Hopefully this stuff isn't just gonna fold on itself. It looks like it's going fine though. That uh, air conditioning donation money would be really nice right now if it went already towards an air conditioner. It's not that hot today either, but my dumbass decided to wear a long sleeve shirt here in the here in the studio. <laughs> what would be an awesome adhesive remover? Uh, it's literally called LA's Awesome. Um, they sell it at dollar stores. They might sell it at Walmart too. Um, very, very, uh, pos or very, very uh, popular cleaner for a lot of things. It works wonders on window tint adhesive. Go get you some of that. I've, I've been there, we're in a pinch. You need something that just works good enough. Uh, awesome works awesomely. Some window tints remove easily and will leave all the glue off the glass. Um, and some won't. This one, it was like 50-50. It left a fair amount of adhesive behind and oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy, this is, this is cool. <laughs> but yeah, some, uh, I'll show you the bottle. It's a yellow color. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like up here. So go find this. Works, uh, works great. Does the chemical give your hands trouble? Yeah, but most of them do. I've noticed the same things with uh, detergents. So the, the, by the end of the day, my hands will be completely dried out. Why no reverse rolling on the back window? I learned how to carry everything in and that's easier for me, but we are gonna reverse roll the windshield. I have a super good technique now for my reverse rolling on windshields. On back windows, I just, when it starts to get real slim is when I really, really struggle with reverse rolling a back window. Something that I should just put some more practice into, honestly, and it would probably be okay. But this is still easier and quicker for me to do uh, on a daily basis, and it, it always turns out really, really well this way. Cause you just pull it, spray, carry it in. Um, there's a little bit more prep work that goes into my uh, uh, reverse rolling. We got a little finger here. How do I personally price vehicles? Um, I've just kind of went off of what uh, I heard from a lot of other people in my area because I've, I'm, and I've tended for a lot of companies so I kind of know a fair place to start. Good God. Guys, we need a haircut. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. We got, uh, we got one sideways finger that we got to take care of right here. The rest of it seems pretty good and laid down, but I'm not able to press this finger out down. It's not a big deal yet. It shouldn't be. I just, these are always, if anybody's familiar with this point of the job, these are always not super fun because it's a lot of ducking in and out of the car. You heat it up, you press it out, you heat it up, you press it out. You just gotta wait until it dries out and I might just give it some time to dry out before I go to press it out. So we're gonna set this right here. Also, it's got paneling in the way. 
and that makes it a little harder to press it out. But if we can get it past that paneling and we can get it dry enough, we'll get it out. Why do those side fingers come up? Oh, it could have just been like, it's just a little thing. Sometimes it's just the way that you press everything out or the glass is uh, a different curvature on the inside, right? So it's a, like, when you, things are a little bit tighter on the inside and you got a lot of paneling and stuff like that. It, I could blame it on my shrinking on the outside. Um, or the way that I pressed it out or something like that. Sometimes they just happen. And you're trying to get film to stick to like the dot matrix, which it doesn't do anyways. So all those little things together seem to make it, you know, just pop back up. Not on everything and not all the time, just sometimes on more curved stuff. I should get some hooks for the heat guns. Yeah, I'd like to. I haven't really figured out that part yet, though. But it looks like it was laying down okay, so that's good. I was worried it wasn't gonna stick. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We went skateboarding. Don't wanna leave those on the floor. Have I got a trash can yet? Yes, I got two. You see these fucking things right here? So these are clean. And then, so one side I put in uh, trash and the other side I keep for rags. Although we just got them yesterday. So remembering to put everything in there Uh, we just gotta, we gotta work some bad habits, right? Is there a car I would want? What car would I want for myself? Um, that's a good question. Uh, as far as practical, uh, some midsize SUV that's somewhat sporty. We're going a little less practical. I really like Mini Coopers, just always have. Um, the new C8. Corvettes are pretty cool. I like those a lot. Tesla, I like Tesla a lot, but I don't, for some reason, don't really feel like getting a Tesla. I just always remember going to the auto show. Every time I sit in a Mini Cooper, man, I fucking love those cars. We were looking at the new Blazer, though, because my wife needs something. We're gonna need a baby mobile. I like the look of the Blazer. Not necessarily a huge fan of GM, though. <sighs> All right. So you can throw away the small scraps. Dudes, what do you think? <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. It went really well, though. I've got a little bit to press out towards the top. I can see like water feeding back down, so that needs to be taken care of. Everything else is looking pretty legit. There's a fair amount of distortion right now from the water. You, it's really, really apparent with the reflective film. Oh, my God. I forgot that ugh, this is bright. Guys, we need a lot of shop lights to keep uh, so we can see what we're doing. But with this stuff, holy shit, that's bright. <laughs>